Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be baking a pork, a pork loin in the oven. Stick around, I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's really easy. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a paste. Again, this is one of those easy recipes. You do what you want to do. You don't, you don't have to do any of this if you don't want. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of garlic in here because I'm making a garlic paste. This is kind of like my own recipe I've done for years. Um, it's just pretty much whatever you want to do with it. I don't like the squeaking. That kind of thing bothers me, but... Uh, I don't know how many cloves that was. Just to, It depends on the size of your... your pork loin, too. Um, because... The bigger, the more you're going to need. So, okay, so we got this in here. To get all that juiciness out of there. <coughs> now, get a fork here to begin with okay so I'll show you some of the stuff I'm just going to use some seasoned salt again this is just Lowry's works for me you can use whatever you want like I said this is kind of like my recipe as far as cooking the meat it's you know it's uh, 20 minutes per pound we got four four pounds ish over here a little over four pounds so Gonna be about close to an hour and a half. You want the internal temperature at the uh, at the thickest part of your meat. You're gonna want it. Oh, this was paprika. Here we got some cayenne pepper. You're gonna want it uh, about 140 degrees. Just a little bit of that. I'm gonna put some lemon pepper on here. Right. A little bit of sea salt. Pretty coarse. And some steak seasoning. Now with the drippings that comes off of this, I'm going to be making gravy, which is not that, it's not real hard to do, but I'm going to, uh, now what you can do is you can cut uh, slices in your meat and, um, and like put this stuff down into the slices. But I found if I do that, sometimes the meat gets dry because then the uh, the um, the juices run out that hole. So sometimes it don't, but sometimes it does. So that's what I find what usually happens. Um, uh, I have put whole whole cloves of garlic in there, um, kind of give them a little smash so it releases the whatever it is inside the, the, the garlic clove and then I'll stick it in there and then uh, do it that way but this way I'm gonna just make this little paste like stuff here and monkeys over there paying attention <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. this is just uh, this is what it looks like it's just a Paste. Oh, this is um, this is stuff I use <coughs> for Monkey and her mom because it's real it's supposed to be real healthy, right? Mhm. Mm so, let me move this out of the way. Let's get our meat over here, and I'll get my brush, and then I'm going to season it again. Now I'm going to bake this uncovered. Let me get my brush. Where's my brush? Here's my brush. I'm just gonna just kind of smooth this over here a little bit. It's 
like that and then I'm going to take my brush and get the rest of this out of here you can use butter um, the oils it, it just it, this is just a matter of preference if it goes down the side that's totally fine I think I made a lot of this but that's okay I may take some of this off it is a lot of garlic but I'm used to making like a 10 pound thing you know and cooking it in the ground so uh, you can use red wine with this like um, when your meat's just about done there we go I'll save that for later when your meat is just about done you can uh, your drippings in here you take your your meat out and you take your white wine on this one you take your white wine and you pour it in here and you stir it up and then you put your uh, put your meat back in there and then you can baste it that is very good too the white wine does give it some flavor but I don't have any white wine, so you can use beer, you can use pop, no matter. It's your creation. Use whatever you want to use, right? We'll just get a little bit more of this here. There we go. And you can drizzle some more oil over top of this, but since I mixed some up in there, we're not going to have to do that, so I'm going to add some more seasoning here on top um, you can sear you can sear your meat if you want to <coughs> like I said there's some controversy over searing meat they say it doesn't help and it dries it out I haven't really noticed a difference um, but a lot of people say there's a difference I, I haven't noticed the difference when I seared it uh, when I sear it I just usually sear it for the color, you know, because, uh, like I said, I didn't notice, I've never noticed any, any difference in the flavor, or I mean, how juicy it is, or anything like that, I, it, it's, you know, you can overcook something, so, like if you put this in for three or four hours on 350, you're going to burn it to a crisp, right, but we're not going to do that. Now, what you can do, though, is you can put it in for, um, like I said, this is four pounds. You can put this four pounder in at 250 degrees for three and a half to four hours. Comes out pretty succulent. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to cook it naturally. The slower you cook meat, the better it is. And also, you, you need to get a good cut of meat, too. Um... You know, if you got a butcher, which I need to find us a butcher because we cook a lot of meat. Um, find you a good butcher, man, and they'll they'll really give you a good cut of meat, and they'll work with you, and you know, make suggestions and uh, let's put some more of this on here on how to cook different things. If you've never cooked a dish before, they can help you out on that especially barbecue and them guys them guys know what they're doing if you get a good butcher but you can always end up with a butcher that just wants to put his eight hours in and go home but uh back in ohio i had a really good butcher in a small town man it was awesome good cut and it was uh local meat all my meat was local my chicken was local the pig the cow all that was local local meat and I used to hunt for him. I used to uh, hunt squirrels and rabbit for him when he couldn't, you know, like if he was working or something. And uh, he would buy them off of me to sell in his shop. And it was fresh game. Uh, we sold deer, he sold deer and all, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's this. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in, I've already got the oven preheated. We're gonna put this in the oven. It's 350 degrees, and I'm going to check it in about an hour and see 
but I, I'm thinking it's going to be more towards an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half but we'll just have to see okay so I'm gonna put it in the oven and um, I'll be back with you guys okay guys I got the meat over here resting now I'm gonna start on the gravy this is very very hot so I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in here okay now I'm gonna take my fork up here now oops sorry guys hang on I gotta find my strainer okay now you don't have to do this, but I got a lot of chunks in there. Now I'm just going to dump this. I got it into a colander and a strainer. I'm going to get all that stuff out of there that I can. It's going to make a good gravy. Okay. Now, I'm just going set this top of my meat there okay I've got some flour out here ready to go I gotta grab the milk now okay this is what we've got. You can strain it as many times as you want. Okay, so now let me get my let me get my milk out here. Okay, I've got my flour, my milk, I've got my sauce there. Check the potatoes real quick. Those are just about ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put depending on how much you got there. I want to say one and a half teaspoons there. Tablespoons, I'm sorry. All right. I just want to kind of mix this up. Take it off the heat. Now then, I'm going to add our milk. And what I like to use is my mixer. Get all the lumps out of it. So I'm going to go ahead, mix this up, mash my potatoes, and we'll cut the root or the pork loin and see how it tastes. Okay, guys, let's cut into this. Not bad. It's it's fairly tender. Try a little piece here. Mmm. That is amazing. I have to get Monkey out here. I'm going to cut off a piece for her and give it a shot. The juice is running out of that. Now this, <coughs> excuse me, this did rest while I was making the, uh, the gravy and the mashed potatoes. Here's our mashed potatoes and our gravy needs stirred up. And get a, I'll put a ladle in here for them. There we go. I need to uh, try a little piece of this, some of that gravy. Again, that's made from the pan drippings. Mmm. Let me get Monkey out here. Okay, we've got Monkey out here. She's not real happy. I woke her from a slumber. <laughs> <laughs> so, I cut her off a piece. I put a little gravy on it for her, and she's going to try it. Yep. Go for it, Monk. Mmm. 
That's good. pretty good. Yeah? yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I will do my outro now mm, and uh, get to turn around here. And uh, sorry I woke you, but it's time to eat. So, right. look at this, guys. I know. Should <laughs> have turned the air on. There you go. So, mm -hmm. very good. I had a uh, little mishap with the flower earlier. I set the flower down and sneezed. Here's a photo of that. <laughs> Here's a photo of that. Alright guys, so there you go. Pork loin. Um, it, where'd we get this? Publix? Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie. Okay. And it was $9 originally, 20 something. Yeah. But we had the card, so it was $9. And it wasn't marked down, so... <laughs> we won't, we're not going through that again. No. No, that was bad. So, but this is good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get mom's plate made for her, and monkey's gonna eat. I'm gonna eat, and, and you're gonna cool off. I'm cool. All right. When you're cooking, maybe we should turn the air on. Yeah. Well, it's only eighty something. What, Alexa? What's the temperature? Right now, it's eighty degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. Eighty degrees. Hope you've enjoyed your Monday. Thank you. Okay, so. You're welcome. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear's Myth the Man of Legend. Real easy. Just season it the way you want. Can you taste the garlic in yeah, it? Yeah, very good, babe. Thank you so, very much uh, for making dinner. You're welcome. As always. So. <laughs> uh, I'm a lucky girl. Second meal in the new <laughs> kitchen, huh? Yeah. And Man, it even tastes better. Many it, more to come. So, remember guys, I'm not really a chef. I'm an auto mechanic, but hey. I like to cook and share these recipes with you guys. Maybe someday I'll burn something that'll make for a great video. Or more flour in your face. Or more flour in my face. You saw the picture. Ha, I already ha. put it on Facebook. It's funny. Everybody's laughing. Even your niece. First one. Yeah. Love you, Courtney. Shea Bear, the myth of man legend. Gone for now, Monk. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.